Google offers many different free-to-use tools for handling and visualizing data. One of the tools that is available is Google Fusion Tables. With Google Fusion Tables, users can visualize a spreadsheet containing geographic data onto a map. map on, customize the map, and share your map with others. In order to use Google products, a free registration is required. To register, visit google.com and then click sign up and then create account. Fill out the form to create a Google account or you can click the I prefer to use my current email address to link an existing email account with Google. Now we are ready to create a map using the spreadsheet containing the geographic center for each state in the United States. Visit this link to download the sample data. Next, we need to create a Google Fusion Tables by visiting drive.google.com. This URL is where all Google files are stored for your account. Now click on the New button and navigate through the menu options to create a new Google Fusion Tables file. For the next step, we need to upload the file containing the geographic centers. To import our table, click on the From Your Computer option and then click Choose File. Navigate to the folder on your computer where you downloaded the sample file and select it. Click on Next to import the table. Before the table is imported, a preview screen lets us review the table to make sure the data is formatted correctly and the row containing the column's names is designated. Clicking on Next brings us to a form where we can enter any metadata describing our data set. Click on Finish to complete the import process. Now we are ready to map the data. First, we want to tell Google which columns contain our location information. Google can map any kind of location data ranging from addresses to landmarks to geographic coordinates. The geographic center location information is contained in two columns, one for latitude and one for longitude. Hover the cursor over the latitude column name. A down arrow will appear. Click on that down arrow and select Change from the menu option. Under Type, you will notice that Google has automatically detected that the location data is stored in two columns and has assigned the latitude and longitude fields. If you had a single column containing addresses or landmarks, you would set those parameters here. Click on the back arrow to return to the row data. Now we are ready to see our data displayed onto a map. Click on the red plus sign and select Add Map. Now we see our data mapped out. Click on individual red dots to see the values displayed from our table. There are some basic customizations we can do to change the look of our map. First, we can change the type of underlying map to either satellite, a terrain map showing topography, or the basic Google Street Map. Next, we can change how the individual geographic centers are shown on the map. Google offers some basic choices with either a dot or the Google Pin and an option of five different colors. We can also control the type of information that shows up in the info window. Customizing this requires some basic understanding of HTML, the language used to format web pages. If you aren't familiar with HTML, visit the HTML overview page listed in the tutorial notes. To change the info window display, click on Change Info Window and then select the Custom tab. For this map, I am going to add the data source information at the bottom so that it shows up every time a point is clicked. The last step is to share our map. First, we will need to make our table public, so click on the Share button in the upper right hand corner and then click Change. Set the visibility to Public, click Save, and then Done. To publish our map, click on Tools and then Publish. The pop-up window lists the link to the map which can be shared or code to embed the map within a web page. Be sure to consult these resources if you need more help with mapping spreadsheets using Google Fusion Tables.